Hey, this is BB. I'm playing Life is Strange with my dog Ruby. I would actually like to stop recording, but I keep ending up in the middle of stuff, and I don't have time. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going until something happens. What's up? Find anything interesting? I don't think you're actually looking. I think you're just making a show. It's okay. You just need to admit it. That sure is a hatch. I don't think Sean Prescott is responsible for this. It's not because I've already played the game or anything. Damn, this is heavy. Just like the narrative. What is this? Jackpot. <laughs> this is some Do fucked up to see her Blair Witch sense? shit, as you said. He just did. I will tell I you what, kind of as place. someone who has watched a couple horror Prescott, movies, of course. <laughs> you don't go into a secret, um, electrified bunker in the middle of a barn in the middle of nowhere. Probably, if you want to avoid being murdered, that's probably your first step. To not go in the hell bunker. Now, I made this way so more complicated surreal. than it needed to be the first time, and I got super stuck. This is too heavy to break. I think so need they got a little bit less clear on how things are supposed to be done in this episode. Um, first a padlock, them being then the, a the game creators. Someone really doesn't want. Um, because obviously, right? It's the ones that have been touched a lot. Um, because they're faded. Like, how are you supposed to get that, you know? <laughs> I'm stupid. I need to be led by the hand. Apply? Oops. No, that's not it. Bad code. I think... I'm probably talking, like, as if I know what I'm doing. I don't at all. No. Nope. do it, Max. About five. Four, two. Ta-da! I was yes. right. I thought I, was, I wasn't I thought crazy. That only worked in the I just need to trust myself more. Because, as I mentioned, my intuition is usually right. Um, but I always second-guess myself. I'm not as stupid as I think I am. Ready for the apocalypse. Okay. Yep. People who do shit like this, I... <laughs> give your money to something that matters. God. What the hell is this? It's a bunker. Bunker buddies, bunker buddies. Supplies. It's like in David's garage. Yeah, bunker. garage bunker is not as effective against bombs as an underground Most bunker, I would imagine. Supplies. Yep, cereal. That's what you need. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. The apocalypse store. Whoa. Um, this says it as Nathan's all primary about psychiatrist over five years, I feel Who I should dealt? stop seeing your son. As you've disregarded my rather dire immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being, you know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. I don't know who the fuck he's acting personable towards, ever. So that's alarming. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I... I have to assume that you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. I don't know how com how committing people works. Um, I don't Please imagine they can do it willy-nilly, but I don't actually know. Um, because um, I stay as far away from um, the psychiatry system as I can. Don't tape in a bunker is um, that's just me a being bad sign. afraid of it. But, uh, if you're genuinely concerned that he's a threat to others, right, you would, um, can you commit him? I don't know. I'm not saying that people should be ever committed against their will. I think it's a complicated issue. Ew, ew, ew. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Uh, what was I saying? Right. Um, I... I hate this part. I hate having to look at these photos. I'm going to because I think that's important to the narrative and for y'all watching, but I don't like it. Son of a bitch. Okay. God. That costs more than 
my house. I don't actually have a house. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker okay. in the Prescott family. Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that. I just want you to know that th what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention. But nothing is ever enough to you. You are still my son, and I want us to fulfill... I w See? What's with this destiny shit? Um, that day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step up in that responsibility. This is my final warning. Or what? Sir... Or what? All right. I don't like Talking that. About tortured. Yeah. I. Th Ugh. It's fucking sinister. Oh, I think I messed up. Yeah, I think I. Whoops. I think I. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I accidentally moved the scene forward without meaning to. But that's okay. Come on. Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. I think I can still look after Chloe leaves okay. the room. A binder marked Victoria, but it's Oh empty. no. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed I that bastard like back there. Kate I hate having to look first. at these. All those binders are filled with other victims. I'm not well. Victoria For all that the lost. game refuses to engage with actual discussions about sexual assault and um, things like that, they sure do love to just throw the these images at us out of fucking nowhere. Like, that's shot, not right? triggering at all. Right? Is that Call somehow classier than face. saying, like, she's explicitly that she was out. raped at a party? Maybe, maybe we can't say that. We can show you pictures of drugged girls with wild eyes lying on the floor. That's fine. Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. Yeah, this no is way. Upsetting. I'm sorry. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. This Please. is where the game is becomes not my favorite. The first half of it's so great. It kind of does that thing that Harry Potter does. Oh it handles it better. Rachel, um, I'm not. Do, I'm not going to look at those pictures. I'm sorry. All these um, it does the same thing that Harry Potter does, where it takes a very sharp left turn into yeah, evil, evil um, upsetting shit. And uh, it's like, I got into this for, like, oh, the not the reasons that it's going into now. I loved Harry Potter, the first four books, because they balanced well that sense of wonder and enjoyment and discovery with the danger and the adventure aspect of it. And it got I've so bogged down so much pricey um, equipment before. in the politics of war um, in the later books, which I think it's important to discuss war as a serious thing. I don't think it needed to be done to the point where the joy of a children's series gets sucked out of it. I think that if you're going to engage kids with discussions like this, it should be done in a way that is digestible. Hold on. That was fucking scary. I heard a voice. Was that you, Ruby? Oh my god, I'm haunted. <laughs> oh, there's poltergeist in here. Um, but anyway, um, it was just my personal kind of issue with it. Um, I think war needs to be taken seriously. And I think that, um, when you, when you take, oh, it's my phone, Ruby, you're laying on my phone. That gave me a fucking heart attack. Holy shit. Just a random lady's voice in my house. Oh my God. My heart. If Chloe did oh Lord. Spot in the junkyard, <laughs> oh my I God. Go I'm in this scary ass murder bunker. Get ready for And my worst. phone starts talking to me. Holy shit. We'll need each other. <laughs> oh, okay. I need a minute. Oh, okay. I was going to say you have a, you have a book series that starts out so lighthearted and playful and, and joyous as Harry Potter. And you turn it into something that is all about the horrors of war, I think people fail to take it into consideration, the serious of it, because they've already been primed to see it as a happy thing. Whereas if it continued to be juxtaposed with the positivity of the of the series, it might be handled better. That's just kind of my my experience as like, a, as I don't know, I do a lot of creative writing. I've taken like, I have a degree in it. <laughs> um, not to like, be weird about it. Um, and that's just my observation, that if you bog a narrative down too much without something to uplift the negativity throughout, it becomes self-indulgent and difficult to take seriously. But anyway, um, this 
handles it better because you have those gentle moments and those positive there moments be more clues in here, between, and you have, have to get back to Chloe victories soon. throughout. Also, I know Max. I'm I'm talking I've out my ass. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna die when my phone started talking. Holy fuck! Ruby, <laughs> never sit on my phone again. Oh my god! So who's using this fancy tripod? Um. I, I, yeah. They do a good job of misleading you into not ever thinking it's Jefferson. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. I think they do that by shortchanging the hints that it could be him. But I guess that's why he's so good at what he does. Uh. That sure is a bottle. Somebody likes their whiskey. Yeah, no kidding. Um. I forgot what I was talking about. Mainly I was complaining that Harry Potter stopped being good, especially when the sixth book was all about heterosexual drama and J.K. Rowling is so disconnected from Frank. the millennial psyche that she ended everybody in like a 1950s 2.5 kids monogamous, monogamously married to your high school Gross. sweetheart doing the same shit you've always done because no one ever grows or learns from their history shit that she ended with the epilogue. But... <laughs> She has turned into this Ouroboros eating her own tail, so I'm just going to leave that alone now. I don't like that. Okay. We got to go after Chloe. <laughs> uh, this is just a negative emotion. But knowing that it will uplift again for the Vortex Club party, for example... Ooh, she was in a hurry. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, God. Um, anyway, uh, 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 my point being, media can engage with dark themes without... Um, with at, without the expense of humanizing the story Wait for me. or acknowledging that life has ups and downs. Exactly oh, God, I going. forgot about this. No, this is the worst. Oh, when I played this, I legit cried. I'm so sorry. This is not a good... I should not have played this game today. Look, this oh, is no. This is oh, no. <laughs> I'm not... Are you gonna this help is not me, good Max? to me. No, no. Okay. Um, Chloe, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look. That's really shallow. I think Please that no. probably would have been washed up in the Oregon rain, but I am not positive about that. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. I don't know how long she's been down there. It's been a couple months, has it? I don't know. I, I'm not um, knowledgeable about the stages of decomposition. Chloe. I had rats die in my ceiling once, though. <laughs> that was fucking disgusting. Um, not a time to really joke about that, but there were. I had a rat infestation in my ceiling because I lived in a, in a dorm that was pretty shitty. So they put some traps up there and it caught the mice, and then they never came back for the traps, and so the mice really kind of stank for a while. Um, and then later, the, <laughs> the ceiling tile fell out, and there was a bunch of dead rats on my floor. So that was cool. Um, but anyway, this is viscerally upsetting, so I'm talking about something else to distract myself. I apologize. Um, I'm going to play a much happier game alongside this, so hopefully this will balance out. I know. I know. Oh, God. The ghost deer. Right, because you're supposed to... There's the weird Native American spirit animal um, cultural appropriation narrative throughout this that, like, that's her spirit animal that's guiding you to solving her murder, which I don't think is necessary. All right. Um, as soon as I come to a stopping place in this cutscene... Um, I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully, th the next episode at least will promise to have a little bit more levity in it because the Vortex Party has some humorous moments, but um, I appreciate you sticking through you the last couple of episodes, party. which have been pretty rough. Chloe, we can go um, right to the cops. Thanks for watching. We have proof. Okay, bye. Fuck the police.